ENCA's Malungele Boy is covering the story for us, and uh, he joins us now live from the northwest. Malu, uh, firstly, talk to us about uh, the proceedings this morning. Have they resumed, and uh, what have we heard so far? We know that uh, these are the closing arguments now in mitigation and aggravation of sentence. Only that's right. Well, when proceedings resume in around 30 minutes from now. We expect to hear from the state to make their case as to why these two men should spend the rest of their lives in jail. Clearly. They have hinted that they will be calling for a life sentence and that's the kind of sentence clearly, that the parents of these young men have told us that they would want to see they'd want to see this man being handed life terms behind bars because they said to me that these men have taken so much from them yesterday we've heard from Agnes Mushewu the mother of Moshomola Mushewu who was killed for Rasan Flower she told the court clearly about the agony she went through after hearing about about losing her son she also told the court that her six other children were battling to come to terms with their loss. In fact, she was very clear that, clearly, that she has not accepted that her son had died and has died over Rasan Flower and that she would want to see justice being served in this matter. Uh, Manu, the two convicted murderers here, uh, there, is this, um, there is this approach, it would appear, from their families to want to uh, convey their condolences to the Mushro family. How has the Mushro family reacted to this advance? <clears throat> In fact, that came out yesterday clearly from the defense team saying that they had made a request to meet with the family of Matlomula Moshe. They wanted, they say, to convey or to pass on their condolences and also that um, to and also to convey a message from these two um, men that these two men regret the loss of life and that their parents wanted to meet Mushoeu's family and also to tell them that um, they want to offer their support and assistance and their mothers would also want to tell Mushoeu's mother that they understand what she is going through. Well, Agnes Mushoeu was clear that this is too little too late. These families had enough time to do so and actually they didn't and she went as far as to say clearly um, what is it gonna make you know meeting um, them because all she wants is her son she needs her son and meeting with these two with with, with these families won't bring her son back in fact she actually asked one of the fans of the defense advocate as to what would she do if it was her son who was dead and the defense advocate didn't answer that question. All the defense advocate could say was that she would answer that question if she was outside court and that the court was not the right platform to do so. Uh, Manu, just finally and, and very quickly, just watching your story yesterday, uh, I watched it with keen interest because I saw you trying to approach the families of uh, the convicted murderers. Uh, do they look like they are people who are approachable? Do they look like they're people who genuinely uh, feel sorry for these families who has lost uh, their son? Well, when you look at the, at the families, um, clearly, well, I was able to approach them. I was able to, um, you know, introduce myself and tell them who I am. They were not aggressive whatsoever, but they were not prepared to engage me on this particular case. Um, they're saying that they won't be speaking to the media now or any time soon and um, they left it there but you can tell Koli that they are actually quite 
anxious. You could see the partners of these two men also um, praying uh, inside the court. But here's an interesting um, thing about this particular case, Koli. The AFRI Forum has already come out saying that it will appeal the verdict, but also the sentence that would be coming out of this matter, saying that um, in the light of the news that the lone witness in this matter lied in this court, saying that he had been, um, he, he, he was forced actually to implicate these two men um, in, in this matter. At the same time, though, you would remember that um, Pakis had also rejected that claim, saying that he, in fact, he was coerced to lie in favor of these two men, saying that he was promised a house in Kalini and, uh, and some money of about three million rands. And we also understand, Koli, that he had also opened a case of intimidation. Well, we're expecting the court to be packed with the families of, the, of, of, of Peter Durewald and Philip Skerter, but also the members of the ANC and the EFF. Those are the two parties, Koli, that have been showing support to the families of Mushuehu ever since this matter started in 2017. All right, that's uh, our reporter, Malungelo Boy.